Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Vice Mayor Cherry, and members of council. I'm Delegate Sia Price, and I have the honor of serving the 95th House District, and I have lived in Newport News for most of my life. First, let me congratulate the newly reelected members, and I look forward to working with you to ensure great things continue to happen in Newport News. I am here to speak in support of item 20-904 as the sponsor of House Bill 421, a black woman standing before you fully aware of my race. And this was introduced five times to predate Virginia Beach and Charlottesville. I want to offer three points as you deliberate on your vote for this ordinance. First, as we hear the word safety in our discussions, we need to define our terms. We often hear about personal safety from those that have spoken against the ordinance, but what about workplace safety and family safety for residents as they navigate the public spaces as well? One person's right to bear arms for safety must be weighed against another person's right to safety and the absence of weapons. Using guns to show strength and force illustrates this point. No other conversation do we bring the actual items into the room in order to have civil discourse. Supporting this ordinance for workplace safety offers the same level of workplace safety at a, as a restaurant or retail establishment to the people that keep this city running. Secondly, I would argue to remember the missing voices in this conversation. The thousands that have advocated for and voted based on common sense measures like House Bill 421 and this ordinance. Many of those voters chose to stay home today because of the pandemic and others tend to stay away from meetings when they know that there will be strangers who are armed. This is another demonstration of the impact of those not here in the room, shall I say, the majority. Lastly, in the framing of how we use the Constitution to support our own points, this ordinance does not take anyone's gun from them or their right. Those who are legally eligible can still go through the concealed carry permit process in order to bear arms in these spaces. But there are other parts of the document, the Constitution, that we all hold so dear, and we often forget about those parts in conversations dealing with guns. The preamble was added to the Constitution in the last few days of the convention, and it was added as an introduction to set the tone for the rest. And I offer that it is our duty as elected officials to remember to seek to establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty for others and our prosperity. We can't solely focus on the parts that support our desires, and we cannot ignore how justice, tranquility, welfare, and liberty evoke the same sentiment as freedom from intimidation and threat. Voting for this ordinance is within your power, and it is within your right to help protect residents as they use the public spaces that are under your control. I urge you to vote yes, and I speak on behalf of those that could not make it today. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> those are all the cards I have because this is a relatively new technology for us I will ask was there anyone who signed in and I did not call your name thank you um, <clears throat> is there a motion to adopt the ordinance second moved in second uh, any discussion Uh, I am not going to support this ordinance. I think it is. I took an oath tonight to support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Virginia. And I think this is a direct blow against it. I know in my case, I would rather see people with guns that I can see and yet you're going to let people with concealed carry? I don't know who or which ones you are. I see that it is a loaded question. Somebody's going to be unhappy whichever way I vote. But I have to vote according to what I believe is honoring our Constitution. And I will be voting against it. I did take that oath tonight, and I take it very very seriously. We've all taken it. So I do not see that this is going to help anybody. In fact, I know when I saw that church, I think it was in Georgia or South Carolina, and some man in the audience, in the congregation, had a gun. 
a gunman came in, he probably would have killed 25 because he had a, an automatic rifle, 25 to 30 people. And before he could, this guy got up and shot him. He only killed two people. If the children in those schools had had somebody who was trained, there wouldn't have been 20 or 30 kids killed. There may have been one or two, but the guy would have been taken out. So I feel strongly that we need to be able to defend ourselves and, and have other people have the right to help us defend our country. Thank you. Any other discussion? <clears throat> I, I would like to uh, to say a couple of things. Um, I brought this this forward because there were some members in this building who have approached me about not feeling safe in their offices, especially <clears throat> when you see people who come in to either complain about something, some ordinance, paying a bill, um, knowing that there's only one way in and out generally in this older building, um, and talked about the level of, of potential, awesome. level of potential uh, violence in the building. So I, I'm, I put this forward to represent those who, who aren't going to come before this microphone and talk about that. They're employees who don't feel safe. Um, and so I, I asked the um, attorney to propose the ordinance. Um, Maybe I'm the only one that's squeamish, been around firearms all my life, but someone hanging an automatic weapon around their neck coming in is intimidating to me. I will admit it. Um, I was going to turn to the counselor and say, Ripsa Laquita, the evidence speaks for itself. person walks in a room, and automatically, I didn't hear anything else he said because I'm still looking to see whether or not his emotion was going to get to the point where he couldn't control himself. Our staff doesn't have that privilege. Our staff doesn't have an armed guard protecting them uh, as we do and can feel and tolerate uh, such. So we talk about protection. I know that this will not stop any violent crime that's going to happen if, if it occurs to. I'm only trying to have employees feel safe um, and not be intimidated by someone who wishes to be that obtrusive to, 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 uh, to bring weapons into people's faces. You're right. People who are going to commit crimes are going to commit them. I'm not trying to stop that. I'm just trying to work, have a workforce, an environment that is safe and where people are not intimidated. I don't think you should be able to have your child in a library reading a book next to someone with a 357 on them. That's just my feeling. You may not feel that way. I propose it for discussion. Um, the other thing people have been saying that um, it's their rights. But rights don't kill. Guns can. And we're not trying to take away anybody's rights. I'm not trying to take away anybody's guns. I'm trying to create a work environment that is a lot more safer than it potentially can be in these times. I would, um, if there are any further discussion, Mr. Mayor, I'd just like yeah. to say I'd like to thank everyone for coming and sharing your thoughts um, tonight. And I know that this ordinance has created a lot of challenges for those who um, do open carry. Um, and it, it may be a hard ordinance to enforce. However, there is a concern for public safety um, in our city buildings and, and when we have special events or um, in our parks and things of that nature. Um, and if you read the ordinance carefully, and sometimes people... Um, come and they speak, but they may not have read thoroughly what the ordinance even says. It does not say that you cannot bear arms openly wherever you go, except in buildings of the city that are owned by the city or special events um, that the city will hold. Um, and so it does not take away your right to do that. So I'm not so, so sure how many actually read it and got clarity on what it really meant or what it really says, but that's what it says. Um, and so I do agree um, with um, Councilman Woodbury as well. Um, I do believe that you should have your right to have a firearm if that's what your choice is. However, when it comes to um, our city employees looking at uh, what has happened in Virginia Beach 
And God forbid that we have to wait to some, for something like that to happen in Newport News to then make a decision. Um, and so I think it is wise <coughs> wisdom to be more proactive than to be reactive when it comes to our city facilities and our city buildings. And so because of that and because I'm concerned, I, I want you to have your right to do what you want to do with your firearm, but please be respectful even when you come into a city building what those employees have to face. And considering the 12 lives that we lost in Virginia Beach, it's not taking away your right. It's just trying to make sure that we're secure and provide safety for those when we can. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, may I say something now? Sure. When we talk about Virginia Beach, if there had been someone there trained and holding a, a firearm, those people would not have lost their life. That's the point. And so to me, safety is about having somebody there who can take charge and can defend those people. We wouldn't have had as many deaths. Thank you. And I would argue just the opposite point. Anyone trained or not can have open carry. At least with conceal, you have at least a background check and someone knows something about you. Mm. And I just want to say that uh, similar to what, what happened? Go ahead. Oh, um, uh, I totally agree with um, uh, Vice Mayor Cherry is that, um, you know, we're not saying, and, and, and that's what my concern is. I've listened tonight as I, we've uh, got a lot of emails. Are people really reading the entire ordinance? Because it's not saying that you can't take firearms anywhere. There's some places that you can have open carry, but um, it's just specified to our builders. I, I really do think that's not a hard thing for people to respect because I didn't grow up around a lot of guns. And so even seeing some of you in here tonight, um, the, the, I, it was threatening to me. Um, I know you might be trained, or I, or I don't know if you are trained. All I see is that weapon. Absolutely. And and, and um, it, it's, it's nervousness for not, not just me, but a lot of people who called me who did not want to come down here or as well some of the emails uh, in support of it. So I, I just think that's not anything huge to be respectful of for the public, uh, the safety of our employees and people in some of our public places, it, it, you still have the right to do it, to carry open some, some of the places that you go. I would imagine, you know, out uh, hunting and all that stuff, you you know, you could do do that there, but I just think it's, it's, it's gone. It's, people are either have not read it and just really acting like we're just taking away the rule altogether. That, that's not the case. It's truly not the case from the ordinance. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, may I? Yes. Um, I, I did make the motion to approve this, and uh, I am concerned about what happens in our city buildings and our city spaces. And someone mentioned that uh, uh, it would fight crime, but I'm concerned. Uh, if you're open carrying guns, and we have so much crime among young people with 16 to 24, um, we, I, I really don't want to see our little school-aged kids seeing men walking around with guns. They may think it's glamorous. That concerns me. You're in the park. You're in the park. You have guns. There are kids playing. Oh, mommy, i got to have a gun when I'm, I'm big enough to have a gun because they see people openly carrying guns. I, I did take the oath of office to defend the Constitution of the United States of America, and I, I take that very seriously also. But I do think uh, I agree with the mayor that, and uh, my other colleagues that we do have to provide some sense of uh, safety uh, here in the buildings for our employees. There have been instances in this city hall where someone has come in open carrying to intimidate. So we, we, we're just trying to find a balance. We're not saying you can't take them to the grocery store. We're saying you can't take it in public buildings uh, that the city owns. So I'm, I'm, uh, I understand your position, and I don't want you to feel like your rights are being infringed on, but no one is going to be happy either way that we make these decisions tonight. So I erred on the side of um, defending this. And I just want to say about the... Oh, I'm sorry. 
I was, gonna, I was just going to make a point of clarification. Did the motion, was the motion for the revised G1, a revised ordinance that was placed in front of everyone? No, you did make a, a, a substitution, so we, the motion will need to be for the revised. They added, uh, and everyone got a copy. I, I think it was something slightly changed. After the after the uh, ordinance went into the agenda, we were contacted by the fire department that yes. wanted needed an exemption for the fire marshals and the bomb squad that carry sidearms. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, do I need to modify the motion? Mr. Yes, please. I like to modify the motion as revised by the city attorney to include the firefighters and fire marshals. Can we get a second to that? Second. Second. Was there any other discussion? I do. And, and just as we we're talking about this constitution, you know. I haven't kept up with um, all the times there have been amendments to constitutions, to the Constitution, but any document, um, there's a, I'm not breaking the law by voting for an amendment because that's what people, that has happened with the Constitution before it's been amended. Uh, parts have been amended, part, so uh, that's just, just for clarity. I just wanted to add that for clarity. If no further discussion, call the roll, please. Vice Mayor Cherry? Four. Councilman Harris? Four. Councilman Jenkins? Four. Mayor Price? Four. Councilwoman Scott? Four. Councilwoman Vick? Four. Councilwoman Woodbury? Again. Motion carries 6-1. <clears throat>